Vishweshwadya Mathur and in this today's video I will be showing you how we can take auxiliary and asymmetric view of a 3D model using Canada V5 software. So let us get started. So this one is our 3D model and in my last video I have taken some basic views like the right side, left side, top and bottom of 3D model. So for taking auxiliary view we need to highlight the views from which we are going to take the auxiliary view. So just click on this icon auxiliary view and we need to create uh, a line either it should be parallel or vertical. So just uh, drag it and suppose we want to take parallel then we need to move our cursor in that line and right click select this parallel and double click to exit the command and move up or down side and down side to get your auxiliary view and if you want to move it in the other place then just right click on that particular box then go to view positioning then after select the second position independently of reference view so after this we can move anywhere in our city so this is how we can take auxiliary view if you want to change the direction of arrow here so just double click here so you will get this kind of interface and just go to your right place and here you will get replace profile from where we can take any line like it should be zigzag parallel or perpendicular or the last one option we are getting in front profile direction that means if you want to change the direction of arrows let me show you so if this if you click this icon then it will be take the opposite direction of that particular model for which we are taking an auxiliary view so this is how we can change the direction and to exit from this interface you need to click here exit workbench this is how we can change the direction of arrows okay and for taking asymmetric views what you need to do is just expand this option and select this icon isometric view then go to windows go to your 3d model so which side you want to be Place your asymmetric views. You can change by clicking here. Okay. So here you can put 45, 90 degrees. If you want to change the views angle of this particular model, so like that we can rotate this. So I think this one will be okay for our asymmetric view. So actually we are still in a asymmetric command so we need to select a face so that it will take asymmetric view. Here you can see some options which are given to rotate the orientation of this particular model. One you can again rotate it, move, rotate, anything you want you can do this. Just click on seat, sorry, click on a seat. And if you want to change the scale of this asymmetric view, then just right click on this particular box. So here we will keep to a stone line. Now I'll drag it to a proper place so that anyone can recognize the 3D model and he will get some overall idea 
how the actual product is looked like. So we have covered the section of auxiliary and isometric views. So in my next video, I'll be showing you how we we'll do the dimensioning, how we gonna give dimension to a part, and also I will be showing you how we can take the other uh, views like sectioning. This one is a major portion that I need to cover. So thank you for watching this video guys.